coming into Trinity was just like a new life, an incredibly exciting and exhilarating experience. And to me, joining societies, getting involved in the CSC, that was all part of it. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but the great opportunity of college is to try different things. I knew I just wanted to kind of have access to that crack and that life and all the opportunities they got just from paying two quid to sign up to a society. I knew that I was going to spend every waking hour in Players Theatre. You ended up doing loads of things that you wouldn't have expected, like going out to skips and finding bits of furniture that you pull in and try and make the show happen. At the time, I was like, God, this is class. We reactivated the Jazz Society. The beauty of it was that I found a couple of like-minded people. We could, let's, let's get a room and talk about this. Let's listen to records. What was it? A room for cats to swing. I remember that's what we requested. <laughs> We were filled in lots of forms and went to lots of meetings and wore ties and they gave us a piano then <laughs> and then some amps so the guitarists and bass players could plug into them. I was studying uh, science and I liked it but I wasn't sure actually would I be able to stick with the course for the full four years but to be able to balance that with getting involved with things like the Food and Drink Society or the Trinity Arts Festival, eventually getting involved in CSC was really amazing, it kept me in college. One of the biggest things that I learned was the value of contributing to the community that you're in. And I think that having that framework of being passionate about something and always working for something that you feel has value and integrity has definitely framed how I've gone on to begin to make my career choices afterwards. But I felt so drawn to the people, they made me feel really confident and really at ease, which I didn't have in school. I had a pretty tough time in school and the feel really erased some of that and really kind of brought me to a new place. Building up your team skills and, and being able to work with people, that's hugely important. And those have stood to me all through my political career, my academic career, indeed my practicing career when I was in practice as a barrister too. When I was treasurer of players, I had to manage a budget of about 20, 25,000 euro, uh, pounds as it was then. You know, as a student, you don't come across anything like those kinds of sums of money. So that's a major challenge and that's something I learned. All these little bits of, of pieces which just rounded out the education. And no one's going to examine me on it afterwards. If you put on an event, as, as happened to me once, no one shows up, that can feel pretty much like, a, like an exam. But you can walk away and it's all positive. For TEDx, I was able to go and set up the website and our ticketing and all that kind of thing. And it gave me a real opportunity to use the skills that I'd learned in my course and actually apply them in real life. So could you do the love of our shit? just Rod, Inta Katar, Geshlo, August, just just pieces free. I was involved with the Common Gaelic and the Vincent de Paul Society. When you join a society, it really is where you find your community, where you learn, and it's so important to the college life. Those are the memories you carry through your life, and those are the connections you return to again and again through friendships, in my case. I found my wife through society. You get this kind of glue that brings people together, uh, and societies does that. It's the magic of being involved in societies, and, and it brings people together in an amazing way. I run Cat Laughs Comedy Festival. The guy who owns that festival, a guy called Richard Cook, the first time we met was when I was brought back a year after college as a former chair to interview him as a former esteemed alumni uh, about players. And years later, I'm, you know, running his festival. <laughs> Over the three years that we ran the Jazz Society, we became known internationally as a place if you were touring Europe, you could do a gig in the Ed Burke. I remember once one of the LA guys ring me up and go, uh, is that David from TCDJS? Which they presumed was just like a major entertainments corporation, as opposed to uh, an old Apple computer under Lucy's guidance that we were operating out of the Central Societies Committee. <laughs> That, that funding, that coordination, that support, being able to go in and talk to them and say, I have a problem, I don't know how to do a particular thing, were phenomenal. Central Societies Committee, like, openness to all the whims and nuance of an ever-evolving student body is amazing. I'm pretty sure 
there might have been a Pokemon society for a brief time we were there, as well as, you know, something as fundamental as a food and drink society. We get a lot of different universities coming to us and asking us how we do it here in, in Trinity. And, you know, that speaks to the talent that's here in Trinity in running those societies. We are students representing students. The door of the CSE is always open and I think all students know that they can just come in and ask a question and that they'll leave being reassured that they're doing things right. That, I think, explains why societies in Trinity are stronger than in probably any other college I've worked with in Dublin. They've done a hell of a thing.